Aloha, Coach Stan of the Big Island Sports Network. Welcome to Big Island Football 2019. Initially, I was going to do an elaborate preseason show, but hey, it's the season of change with the splitting of the divisions and no more uh, all-island play. Uh, not sure how exactly things are going to play out. It's starting to become a bit more clear as we get a few games under our belt, but it looks like Hilo and Konawina are going to be competing at the top of uh, Division I. Uh, Division Two, you would expect Kamehameha and HBA to have the advantage there, but we haven't seen much uh, play from uh, the teams moving up from eight man so we can't really make much of a prediction there so gonna have to wait till we see a little more football to start uh, fleshing out uh, opinions uh, in the meantime we've got some highlights from uh, Hilo versus Kamehameha, Waikea versus Kamehameha and Konawina versus Kelly Kay. so check it out Big Island Football 2019. Let's check out Konawina versus Kalakehe probably one of the most anticipated BIIF openers in quite some time. Coach Wyatt Nahale, formerly JV coach at Kona Wynan, takes the head coaching job at Kealakehe and takes about four coaches and four or five players with him. And consequently, you get two uh, transfers from Kealakehe going to Kona Wynan. One is quarterback Boo Jones, here hooking up with a familiar target for Kona Wynan fans, Jesse Conda. Here Jones finds Mark Bossa. Mark had some uh, big catches on the game. Finished with six catches for 77 yards. Did some tough work across the middle. Who looking deep downfield. Nice contested catch there. Almost takes it to the house. Hunter Worsig, former Konawina DB stops him. Ball was uh, called down. Joseph Robach getting into the action. Jones found him four times for 22 yards. Capella with an acrobatic uh, reception and finish there. Another Kalakei transfer, Caden Baptista. Freshman Anahu Ambrosio picking up uh, four catches for 25 yards. And when uh, Boo couldn't find anything downfield, he was able to use his feet. And returning senior running back Riley Sato with some tough yards down around the goal line. Comes up just short here. but sets up uh, Boo for a running touchdown here. Jones hooked up with Honda seven times for 65 yards and two TDs. Here's one of those TDs. Now some controversy here uh, amongst people who uh, might be confused about the rules. This is high school football. One foot down constitutes a catch. Possession, catch, second foot down, touchdown. Ball hits the ground and comes loose, but a ground can't cause the fumble. So good touchdown there. Referee Bo right on top of it with the signal. Jump and bump. One more time. Boo Jones, Jesse Conda, threading the needle. Touchdown, Kona Wina. Of course, the defense had to get in on the action as well. Noah Bredesen from safety to corner this year. Good pass defense there. Bossa, two way work this year with a nice play at corner. Transfer Caden Baptista paying dividends right away. Saw the reception earlier, there's a pick. Can't forget about the big boys up front doing work. Alani with the pressure. Myers drops the hammer. Sack for Konalina. Now we expect a big year out of Alex Muti, senior in slash linebacker BYU commit, but uh, one of the benefits of having him on one side is uh, being the defensive end on the other side, Elijah Martin. A lot of stuff ends up coming your way. 
Here's a tip interception. Ball gets poked out after the fact, but it goes out of bounds without changing possession again, so it stays Kamoana ball. Martin gets credit for the interception, also the fumble. Martin again, this time with one of his sacks. And one more time for good measure, Elisha Martin batting one down at the line. Kalakei okay, made some plays, just not enough. Here's Nahale to Wersig. That was a combo uh, that was uh, making plays for Kona Wina last year. This year for Kalakei, Wersig with three catches for 37 yards. Here's another one. And they've got Elijah Kahele, a dangerous offensive threat, ripping off a nice run here. Defensive line, tackle for loss. And the DB shutting down the uh, receiver screen there. Some good pass defense. And here's another highlight for Worsig. He's going to get an interception at the goal line. But uh, in the end, 24-7, Kona Wina with the victory. Let's check in with Coach Brad, see what he had to say after the game. Okay, Coach, probably one of the most anticipated openers uh, in a while with uh, Wyatt taking the position as head coach at Calakay. What's your initial thoughts of the game? Um, they were good. They were well coached. And I told these kids from the start, you know, that um, that Pearl City score in their game up there, um, you know, we, we weren't taking um, it as a, that team coming in, struggling a little bit on both sides of the ball. You know, you, you know we knew they were going to um, – step up and they were going to fix up some stuff and you know this was our first game so we had the whole wrinkle part to work out and you know they were a little bit well versed in, than we were and um, I, I mean I'm happy you know we, we, we got a win against a good football team you know at home and you can already forecast the next meeting is just going to be a, a battle again so yeah we I mean we just got to get better. A new quarterback new to the system what did you think of Boo's first uh, performance? Um, I was happy for him, you know, he, he's seen some things and he, he made a ton of mistakes and, you know, kind of for us as coaches, we, we want to, you know, the best thing for us, the best tool for us is film. So we're going to pick film up, you know, we're going to correct the small things and, he, I mean, he's got a good head on his shoulders and he wants to get better. So we're, we're going to get better, you know, and um, he will. And there was, it was not only him, you know, I, I think our line played well tonight, but um, our receivers got to get better for him. and. and you know, we got to find time, and I mean, it's the whole package. But I think he did a good job. Now, the defense, you know, on paper, looks like it ought to be strong, looked pretty strong this evening. What do you expect from those guys this year? Yeah, I mean, we're physical and, and you know, we're athletic. And, you know, I think the biggest part for us, especially tonight, just so new and a different defense than last year is the terminology, getting lined up. You know, that was one of the things we were kind of concerned about is just being able to line up and know our responsibilities and face different formations and how we check to certain things. And we did a fairly good job. You know, once the ball snapped, it is what it is. You know, I, you know, I expect our kids to play hard and physical and fast. But, you know, we got, you know, we got be a little bit um, just lining up. And then, and obviously, like I addressed to them later, it's just our discipline level. You know, too much penalties on both sides of the ball. and. You know, just allowing them to keep drives alive with, with bad penalties on third down, and you know, so we got we just got to get better discipline-wise. Now, it's always easier to coach them up after a win, but you've got uh, Mission Viejo coming in, which is uh, unique. What was the thought process behind bringing them in? Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna we continue to challenge our program, and you know, like I told them too, you know, we got a big week ahead of us to to, to scheme for that game, and um, at the end of the day, we're gonna compete, but we're gonna also learn from them. We talked about discipline a little bit, and. You know, Mission Viejo is ranked 33rd in the nation. There's there's a lot of discipline that it involves getting to that point. And so we're going to learn a lot from them. Hopefully we can take that, see what a team looks like, compete with them and move forward and try to replicate a bunch of things that they do. Great. Well, thanks, Coach. Uh, enjoy yep. the win. Get ready for Mission Viejo. Thank you. For more information on purchasing action photography, highlights, recruiting programs, and more, go to BigIslandSports.com media services page. Here are some highlights from Hilo versus Kamehameha. 
Now, one of the first things that people started talking about when they heard that Kilo on and Austin Ritter was transferring to Kilo from Kamehameha was would there be enough touches to go around? And certainly Kilo Hana got some touches this evening. Nice little uh, run uh, from deep in his own territory. Crossing pattern there. Good for a first down. And a touchdown reception later in the game. Now Kilo Hana's uh, stats would have been better if this play would have counted. See the flag come in there. And that one got called back, unfortunately. But some familiar uh, faces got in on the action. Elijah Powell takes a short pass, turns on the Jets, a lot of yards after the catch for the touchdown. Last year's Offensive Player of the Year. Aguiar with the reception. And here's Ogata picking up a first down. But it was Martinez who had seven uh, rushes for 90 yards and a couple TDs. who stood out. Another Martinez TD right here. Kaimi Tiogunko also had a, a big game for the Vikings at receiver and QB. Had five catches for a TD. Also had a rushing TD as well. Amy with that little comeback screen. And then here's that TD. And as usual, the defense was tough. Lewis with the pick. Big boys up front were relentless. Tackle for loss there. Lewis, White, et al. bring in the heat. Here you have another great white attack. And Hilo defense reads the screen well. Tackle for loss. Now Kamehameha made some plays, just couldn't uh, put many together. Did get some heat on Miyasato. He was 8 for 18 for three touchdowns, but did take a few sacks. Number 77 for Kamehameha stepping up. The dude has like five names, two first names and three last names. That's a tough one for the commentator. Maybe just have to go KND. Tuguyo Kahale making his first start at QB. Did more damage with his feet than his arm, mostly. And Luis with a late interception, a bright spot for the Warriors. Final score, Hilo 54, Kamehameha 10. Don't miss a minute of exciting Big Island Sports content. Subscribe to the Big Island Sports Network YouTube channel and activate notifications today. Let's get you caught up with a few clips from Kamehameha versus Waikia. Apu Apiche had a big day, one of the touchdowns. Austin Wilson with a reception from Perry. Perry give to Mahiai for the score. Kamehameha D playing tough. Defensive line called a meeting at the quarterback. 
Freshman QB Mike Perry spreading the ball around. Here he finds McCollum. This time it's Gragas. Ragas again. And Ragas for the TD. The lone bright spot for Waikea, the Nakamoto Baltazar to Kaili Paka hookup. Kaili Paka had six receptions for 213 yards and a 75 yard scoring reception. Nice over the middle catch there. And none of these were easy catches. A lot of times fighting through double coverage or having a less than ideal pass location to deal with, still came down with it. Got a nice long reception by Kaili Paka. Unfortunately, on the end of this one, ends up uh, coughing up the ball. But still gets the total added on to his reception yardage. And here's that 75 yard touchdown pass reception score. Finally, Kamehameha 56, YKS 6. Junior varsity highlights brought to you by the Collegiate Prep Bowl, promoting higher education through sports. Check out some JV action between Hilo and Kamehameha. This game was all Hilo. Hilo has a sizable squad. Here's number 12, Kaluna, taking it down to the goal line. Well, Kamehameha only suits up about 21. Here's Kaluna with the score. And they'll be absorbed by the varsity relatively soon once they begin D2 play. Kaluna to Akui the touchdown. Defense doing work. Kamehameha looking over the middle for the screen. Reyes Orsinio with the tackle. Paluna going to keep it himself into the end zone. Touchdown Vikings. Even as knifing in from the defensive line. Tackle for loss. Reyes Orsinio tackling the end zone for the safety. Luna looking downfield. Finds Kai for the touchdown. Interception there. Don't have number 24 on the roster. Pasco going to take the uh, swing pass, take it to the goal line. Final score, Viking 65, Warriors 0. Let's wrap it up with highlights from Konawina versus Kealakehe Junior Varsity. Now Kealakehe's Junior Varsity was uh, about the best JV team last year. This is Torres with a sack on Molina. Kinney to Talinsru. Some nice yards after the catch. Kona wanted deep in its own territory. Pass out to the wide receiver. Kahia Moy pokes it loose, gets the recovery. Kenny looks out to Grace. Touchdown, Wave Riders. Wave Rider D line with a strip sack and recovery. Kenny looking deep for Grace again. Touchdown, Wave Riders. Defensive line again. Pass batted down. I'm 
That's Asinio Kalahiki with the interception. Molina going to look over the middle. But Mahalona going to get the interception for the Wave Riders. Alvarez with some pressure up the middle, gets some help from a friend. Sack for the Wave Riders. Mahalona with another pick. Going to get stripped, but uh, Kelly retains possession. Wildcats made some plays, just not enough of them. Here's Laughlin with a nice little run to the outside. Kinney keeps the ball, gets tackled for a loss. Sasaki with a nice reception down the sideline. Yabi tracking down the quarterback for a sack. Alvarez with a nice hit. And some nice pass defense by Carroll. There's Sasaki. Another play for the Wildcats with the interception. Molina finds Aka over the middle for a nice game, but in the end, it's the Wave Riders 35, Wildcats 0. Hello for tuning in to Big Island Football 2019. We'll see you next week. Aloha!